Good morning. Welcome to our review uh, today. So we are going to review another very best-selling, uh, highly sought-after uh, product from Baba. The name is uh, Baba Planter Box BI528. It comes in various colors. We'll see in a bit. So this is uh, another biodegradable product from Baba. It's uh, as you can see on the sticker. It says it's durable. It can withstand very uh, extreme temperature and also shock resistant. So if you buy this uh, online, it's a good choice. It's not going to break easily. It's very tough actually. You see, it doesn't bend. Meaning that the, the plastic is very thick. Okay, let's go straight to the measurement. <clears throat> the melt opening for this uh, planter box, uh, that's about 64.5 centimeter. The width opening for it is about 20.5 centimeter. <clears throat> the height of this planter box, you can get the height from the ground, that's about 18 centimeter. Okay, the height starting from the base of the uh, the platform there's a platform all separated inside this uh, planter box the height from the the um, separator it's about 16 centimeter if you remove this uh, separator uh, you remove that you're gonna get uh, that's about 18.5 also right okay so what about uh, on the uh, outside? So this is the outside. It's got some texture onto it. Yeah, like a small um, indented uh, structure. And this is the base. Okay. The measurement for the base. Let's get the roller again. The base is about 58.5 centimeter. The width of the base is about 15.5 centimeter. Okay. So besides uh, uh, having this main structure of the planter box, uh, you got also this separator here or the platform. So the reason having this is actually to create a water reservoir at the bottom so you have your separator lying like this and then you can have your pot uh, on the top so when you fill in your water you can create uh, the water reservoir so you can leave your plants um, uh, not having to be watered uh, very frequently for quite some time okay so it, it's kind of like a hydroponic system okay yeah. but if you want it to be completely outside you're not going to worry about you know water reservoir and self watering system the pot is also equipped with two plug holes silicone holes which you can remove easily and yeah yeah so you can turn it into like a regular planter box uh, for your outdoor garden okay <clears throat> so if you decide to turn it back into uh, your hydroponic system or maybe you want to have an aquarium for your fish you can do it just plug it back yeah so don't ever lose the um, silicon plugs all right okay we're good to go <clears throat> all right so uh let's see uh how much soil that we need uh, to fill into this uh, planter box. So I put back the um, the uh, separator. Oh, oh, before that, uh, we need to know the, the weight first. <clears throat> Let's see what is the weight uh, for this planter box. Let's see. Turn it on. Okay. Uh, it's almost one kilogram. Yeah, it's almost one kilogram. I want to, to, to make it even more uh, precise. We can put it there, tear, and put it on top. 
Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. It's reaching a 1 kilogram. Okay. So 1 kilogram of this. So you can um, have some approximation of how uh, that's gonna cost your shipping if you buy it online. Okay, let's see how much soil do you need. Okay, so if you want to use this planter box to be completely filled with soil, yeah, you can do it. Okay, and of course it depends on the soil that you're using. So let's see how much soil actually needed to cover that. Okay, you see? So, oops, okay, oh, I'll put it again. Okay. One, two, three, lift it. Yeah, that's about uh, 7.5 or 8. So, yeah, if you're minus one from the, uh, the empty uh, weight of the planter box, you are going to need about 7 kilograms of, of soil. So seven kilograms. So the soil that we use today um, is planter. Uh, sorry, not planter. Uh, plant lover soil. Yeah. So this one back uh, got about ten kilograms of soil. So yeah, about seventy percent of this bag is required to fill in this entire planter box. Oh right. Okay. So let's remove this. Let's see how many pots we can use to fit into this planter box all right so if you are working with um, a medium-sized um, pot flower pot like the one that we have here this is also from Baba the flower pot RD170 uh, this one the diameter it's about 170 should mean that the diameter is uh, 17 centimeter. Yeah, the diameter is about 16.5 and then the height, it's about uh, 14 centimeter. So <coughs> using this um, RD170, you can comfortably fit three planter box oh sorry three uh, flower pots into this planter box okay yeah so this is perfect if you want um, your surrounding area not to get messy with the soil and everything and you, do, you just want to have your plants sitting there neatly in your indoor environment in your office in your house your study room and so on okay if you have want to have something smaller we can have um a bit smaller this is rd150 so the uh, the diameter is about 15 centimeter uh, using this model of flower pot you can happily fit in one two three four uh four uh, flower pots into that okay so it depends it depends on on uh, your interest how do you want to utilize your planter box okay so we have some example here that uh, we already have in our nursery um so this is uh the planter box that we have you can see that it's actually in different color oh yeah you can see that uh this planter box uh five to eight it comes in variation the one that we used just now for our demonstration that is called the kota color it's the earth color and also we have the white okay this is the white okay careful because the white very easily gets stained yeah and then we have another color this is called um dark brown i call it the milo color yeah dark brown and then this is brown yeah. So it depends on your de uh, desire to design, your taste. We got a, a good uh, selection of colors here. Right? Okay. So let's see some example. Okay. Uh, so we got some example here uh, using 528. Uh, the color is. The, the milo color the dark brown color so we got some groundnuts growing in here yeah you can grow groundnuts in here um i think soon it's going to flower and we're going to get some uh, yield 
Right. And also, we can have this. Uh, this is the what color is it? This is the brown color. Okay. So obviously, you got some um, dirt soil stain. Obviously, this has been outside for quite some time. Okay, and we got some cuttings here, the hibiscus cutting. Yeah, yeah. If you're not happy with that, you want to grow something uh, uh, regular, you can have this uh, seashore portulaca. Yeah, the Japanese rose. Yeah, this one is from the seashore. The regular Japanese rose is, the, is this one. Yeah, so let's see. This is the regular Japanese rose. Yeah, so this guy you can plant into here. Yeah, that works as well. Okay, so it's a very good pot, very, very versatile pot. So I think uh, that's all for today. So thank you and see you until the next one. Bye.